Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Uh, Today is the last video in the series of state elicitation, which is the first part in being able to elicit, anchor, and then manipulate our states, right? Excuse me. So uh, in the first video, we talked about physiology. We talked about remembering a time when in the next video. And then we talked about modeling state. Now we're going to talk about creating states. So uh, you know who's the master of this is Richard Mandler, the co-creator of neurolinguistic programming. And I should give a caveat that uh, there is a school of thought out there that says that when you're anchoring states, you should use naturally occurring states. In other words, remembered experiences. However, that hasn't been my personal experience. And in the spirit of NLP, Neuro Linguistic Programming, the spirit of Neuro Linguistic Programming was that you must test everything for yourself and find what gives you the best benefit, right? So uh, I have amazing mentors, uh, Damon Cart, is my mentor, he's also a business partner, and I, I think Damon gives sage wisdom when it comes to NLP. He's probably one of the most prolific, uh, neuro, uh, one of the most rigorous minds in neurolinguistic programming right now. And even when he gives me uh, information, I learn and master it his way first, and then I deviate from the model to see if I can get a different result. So I'm gonna give this to you because it is uh, a way to go into state and you will experience new profound states that you have not experienced in your life yet. Uh, but you will have to discover for yourself if this is more useful or remembered states are more useful. That is something you must play with and you must test. So how do we create a state? Well, uh, we can act as if, one, right? We could imagine ourselves feeling more confident, happier than we've ever been in our entire lives and then step into it, feel those feelings, and, uh, and, and then you can keep doing that. But we're gonna do a lot of that in, a, in, uh, in the next segment on intensifying states, right? One way to intensify a state is to imagine yourself in the state, but double it. So we're gonna go over that eventually. Uh, but I want to talk about some ways that you probably wouldn't do. And my favorite is on Richard Bandler's Personal Enhancement Series. It's a wonderful, wonderful CD kit. Uh, it's uh, six tracks. Uh, one is on belief change, another is on passion and motivation, uh, one is on wealth building, and the last one is called Turbocharging Your Life, in which uh, Bandler has you take a situation that used to bother you in the past and he builds a representation in the mind that will give you a state of consciousness that will give you both power and motivation beyond what you're probably used to and it's a simple imagination exercise so what you do now i want you to think of a person or a place or a situation maybe public speaking maybe it's an authority figure maybe what i don't know what it is for you but i want you to do this exercise with me now so that you can have this experience for yourself rather than just watch and hear about it, okay? So what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to imagine that you're there. You see that person or, or situation that usually starts to intimidate you. And notice how when you're in that situation now, really put yourself there, see that situation with your eyes, hear what you hear until you start to get those negative feelings back. And as those feelings start to come back, the moment you're starting to feel this, I want you to immediately imagine now that you could shrink that person way down as if you were putting them at the bottom of a ravine or a cliff. So imagine now you could take that person or situation, put it way down there, like at the bottom of a cliff. So you're here looking down on that situation from up above and immediately notice the perspective change and how from up here, your feelings have already changed, haven't they? Now, in addition to that, I want you to imagine something kind of marvelous here, kind of uh, incredulous, but go with it. It's okay. Let your imagination run away with you. That's usually how we cause our mental problems 
is we let our imagination run amok thinking negatively. So you might as well let your imagination run away with you in a positive way. So you have that person or situation or client or whatever down there in the ravine. Now you're gonna add a 40 foot puma, black and sleek, and you can see the musculature of that puma. All right, so I want you to imagine now that there's, there's that 40 foot puma and it's looking down at that situation or client or person or whatever. And I want you to notice that the puma is all relaxed and powerful. And see the, the puma like bat the ground with his paws. And when it does, hear a deep, powerful rumble. Like, you know, the sound of a glacier just shaking the ground. And notice that that situation is shaking from the power of that puma. And see lightning come down and crash right next to that situation coming from that puma. Now, here's where it gets really cool. I want you to imagine that you could step up inside the puma. So step inside that 40 foot puma and see through those eyes. Look down at that situation from inside the eyes of that powerful cat. Look down at that situation that used to bother you. See the thunder crashing next to that situation. Feel static electricity sizzling all around you and, and, and that situation. Feel the energy of that coming from you. And then I want you to hear a loud booming voice inside the back of your mind as you look down at that situation that says, you're mine. And here, an audience of applause, just a stadium full of applause, chanting your name and, and cheering and whistling and hooting and hear the applause get louder, make it full rich like you're in the stadium now and have that soundtrack there as you look out at that situation and notice how you feel different, don't you? Can you feel bad when you do that exercise? I don't think so. And it, what's interesting is if you do that five times in a row with a break in between, we like to put break states in between these things. You do that five times in a row with a break state in between, your feeling about that situation will change completely. And the next time you're in that situation, suddenly you're gonna step up inside that puma in your mind and hear that growl, that rumble, and you will feel differently. And the people around you will notice something is up, something is different. So that's an artificially constructed state, right? You're not really a puma. But this is not the first time we've used power animals, spirit animals, right? The mind represents these things. You know, we, we use symbols and metaphor to communicate ideas, states of consciousness, you know, power, like they do this in advertising a lot, right? You know, Ford uses the horse, uh, the symbol of the horse. Budweiser uses those beautiful Clydesdales that represent America and freedom. Right? We use symbol and metaphor and, and advertisers understand this. So you might as well begin to use it in your, inside your unconscious programming. Uh, another example is synesthesia. So we'll be covering this a little bit later on as well. But when you stepped into that puma, go ahead and do it again now. So see that situation that used to bother you. Put it at the bottom of the ravine, way off in the distance, and then see that beautiful cat step up inside Feel the power of the cat as you bat the ground, hear the rumble, the cheers, people chanting your name, the thunder crashing next to you, and then hear that voice inside that says, you're mine, as you look at that situation. Now, notice how you feel. And then I want you to imagine that you could give that feeling a color. Notice that there's a color with that feeling. And you can take that, feel, that color and see and feel it spreading throughout your body. Bring it up to the top of your head, take it all the way down to the tips of your toes, double the brightness of it, give it a hum, double the brightness of it again. And your unconscious understands that the brighter that you make that, the more intense the feeling, the more intense the state becomes for you. So uh, we can also do it with synesthesias. We can do it with adding internal dialogue. We can in fact construct states in all types of ways. Uh, Sometimes when I'm working with a client, if they don't, if they've never had an experience of being confident, which is rare, uh, most of us are take uh, confidence for granted. Like you're confident 
that you can tie your shoes, you're confident about a lot of things. You just aren't confident in the times and places where you want it. But if I need to construct a state of confidence for somebody, for example, I can help them by saying, imagine feeling uh, a steel of purposeful will going down your spine. Feel the strength of that steel coming up your back and lifting your chest up, right? And then I want you to hear inside your mind, this is gonna be awesome, this is gonna be amazing. And have them start to get a positive internal dialogue going. And then teach them that when you know they have doubts to immediately brush those doubts aside. And we can construct the state that way. But this takes a little bit of an awareness of how people do states. So you would probably need to understand NLP strategies and have done a lot of strategy elicitation for people to do it effectively. But those are the four ways that you can elicit a state. You can construct it, you can model it, you can remember it from your past history, and you can get there with your physiology. What would happen if you knew how to do all of those? What would happen if you only mastered one or two? How much of a difference would that make to the quality of your life? Like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell. Uh, in the next videos, we're gonna be going over, now that you have a state, we're gonna amplify it. So if you were able to go into state to a degree with this exercise or the physiology or the remember the time, we're gonna be talking about different ways to intensify that state because I don't just want you to be able to feel happy. I want you to be able to feel wildly happy. I want you to be able to feel 10 out of 10 happy on command. And then to be able to assign it to the times and places where you need it in your life. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell. I'll see you in the next video.